Hello YouTube. When you have a truck like that and you're dealing with some serious rust, when I say rust I mean like stuff like that where it's eighth of an inch thick in places. This was on top of my differential right here. There's a this is a differential case. You see that nice and orange because I peel all that stuff. It was like that. And this is cast iron. And when it starts rusting, it just really rusts. Actually, most most steel everywhere, the frame, everything is just when it starts rusting really bad turns into a rot it just turns into layers basically the rust expands and you have these multiple layers of rust and if you take a grinder and hit it with a grinder it'll actually it'll make this thing nice and shiny you might think you have nice clean metal to paint where in fact you have paint on top of the rust and the water will penetrate and still just keep corroding so most people what they do is they take a peen hammer when you hit it with a hammer it just poof, and the big chunks all breaking off but this is a lot of time with uh, swinging the hammer, not only that, you can't get in many places. So, the best thing for it is actually air chisel. The only problem with the air chisel, it only works when you push on it and push really hard on it. And that doesn't work really well because when you're working like this, you push on it, it just falls right in the... I don't know if I'm pointing the camera right. It falls right in the thing. Let's say you want to work all over here and work all these corners like that and you want to knock all that scaly rust off. It's just basically when you push it, it just it just falls down and there's nothing you can do. When this thing is free like that, it doesn't do anything. So let me show you, let me hook up the air and show you what I mean. See, when you push it, then really it starts, uh, starts doing... See, it doesn't do anything till you push it. So, I figure, what about putting a rubber band on this thing and having a tension on it? And boy is this thing, this is the best thing ever. That's the, oh, this saved me hours and hours of knocking the rust off this thing. So let me show you how I do it. I basically, I bought a box of rubber bands. This, these are heavy duty rubber bands. And I just do a loop like that, just simple. Of course, I don't know what kind of nut it is. But anyways, I slip it over this thing. So I get to about this point. I wet it a little bit. So it's to make sure it's slippery. And then I pinch it, cinch it like that, see, right there on the top. So then I'm left with something like that. And then what I do is I put it in the back of the uh, grinder, I mean the back of the uh, chisel here. So this thing always pulls this chisel towards it. And look what happens. You got a little jackhammer. That just, you can, then you can control it wherever you want. And I had some scaly, crappy rust, especially on the whole differential, the axle. And underneath this on the frame here on these tubes that I was just wasting time with a hammer to try to knock it off. And with this thing, let me show you now. And just walk this thing wherever you want, point it wherever you want and hit it wherever you want instead of pushing on it. Because to make it work you, before you really had to push down, which then you can't hit control where you have the uh, head of this chisel. chisel. This is from Harbor Freight, General, I think General Nomadic. And this thing costs like 20 or $5, I think, if I'm not mistaken. It comes with this chisel. So all I've done is just put a rubber band on it. Okay, so let me show you how this uh, air chisel, how well it works. See this here? This might look, like I said, if you hit it with a brush, you clean it up, actually it will shine like a metal, and you think you got clean metal. But let me show you what this thing looks like when you hit it with an air hammer. See what I mean? You get just chunks like that coming off. That's actually, now you got clean tube. See, I mean, it's probably going to be upside down. But this is what it looks like. And that's how well this thing works. You just go around like an air hammer and just knock that off and I did this to the whole frame, every tube, because that's what it looked like. I'm doing this with my hand. But you get the picture, see all that stuff falling down in there? And see now you got now you're down almost to the metal. Now if you hit it with a grinder, you're gonna have nice shiny metal like that.
Okay, so see? This side is nice and clean. I knocked all, all the scale rest off. Now I'll do it. I have to do all this. And then the other side. And all there and all inside there. See right here? Like I said, I'm going to take measurements with the uh, caliper all the way around to see how much metal I lost. It doesn't seem to be a lot. I would say about 20% because right here, it's on the outside and it's on the inside, clean metal. So I know this is original thickness. And as you, you can go by, it seems pretty even everywhere. The thickness here, but you know, I'm going to check it. Because I had that scaly rust everywhere, so I know I lost some of it. Especially on the uh, the lower sections here. There was a lot of scale underneath here and on top here. So that's definitely, I can see this is definitely about 20% thinner. Especially near here, towards the end here, it's about 30% thinner, but it doesn't matter. Where I'm towing here, it's attached here. That's the uh, towing bar hitch. So... Like I said, this is uh, this truck is good for 11,000 pounds towing, and I'll, I'll, I'm only going to be towing uh, four and a half thousand with a trailer I want to buy. So I'm definitely uh, safe enough to uh, to tow anything, you know, at 4,000 pounds. But like I said, the metal loss is uh, is you can compare the top, which is pretty much original thickness, and the bottom. On both sides, this is the thinnest spot right here. Compared to the top, it's about 30% less. But by the time you get here, it's pretty much original thickness. So, and the tubes, the only spot on the tubes that is weak is right here. My air chisel almost went through. And this is a, also, that's the, another beauty about using this uh, air hammer. It's basically you're gonna find every weak spot. You know, you're not kidding yourself with uh, a lot of people try to fix rust and not touch anything so it doesn't break through. In the case of the frame, you want to break through. Make sure if you got a weak spot, this thing will find it and punch right through, which is what you want. You don't want to be kidding yourself, thinking you got uh, solid metal when you don't. So that's another benefit of using an air chisel and doing it the whole frame everywhere and every tube, and make sure you got solid metal. You can also use a needle scaler like this one to get in the tight places, but this is a slow going. If you get rust like that, I was showing you, you know, stuff like this. This thing doesn't do anything. It's pretty much pointless. It's just, it breaks little piece by piece. It takes hours and hours, but it's good for tight spots. <laughs> 